I am na naive enough to believe that there is no other solution for the ills of humanity. We're confronted every day through the media with all the agony and the turmoil of humanity. Personally, I think people are naive who believe that man can solve that problem by himself. I was somewhat shocked when President Bush, in connection with the Gulf War, said a new order was being initiated of justice. I've considered that a remarkably naive statement for a leader of a great nation. And I like to say I will not buy into his new world order. I'm not impressed by it. But man has entertained the idea for hundreds of years that he can solve his own problems, bring peace and justice to the earth. And I would say today we're probably further away from it than we've ever been at any time in human history. So I'm not ashamed to say that I believe the only ultimate realistic solution for the human race is the establishment of God's kingdom on earth under his appointed ruler, Jesus Christ. I don't feel intellectually inferior for believing that. I don't believe it's a pious superstition. I believe it's a realistic appraisal of the situation in the world and the nature of man. So I am committed to the coming of the kingdom of God. And insofar as lies in me, with many weaknesses and frailties, my life is directed toward that end. Now I happen to be a preacher I have a teaching ministry. And by the grace of God, my teachings are now reaching practically every nation on earth in various forms, in radio, in video, in audio tapes, and in print. That's the practical expression in my life of my commitment to the coming of the kingdom of God. Now you I'm not called to do what I'm called to do, but you are called to do something. And first and foremost, you need to get your priorities right. It's not seek the kingdom of God when it suits you, or when you've attended to all the other things that concern you. Seek it first. And when God says first, he means first.